Hello, I am Mayalan Iturbide. I work at the Institute of Physics of Cantabria and I am part of the AR6 Atlas team. In this video, we will take a guided tour to the interactive atlas. As a follow-up to this introduction, a series of shorter videos will be posted periodically to show in more detail the possibilities for exploration and analysis. The Interactive Atlas is part of the Working Group 1 AR6 report and supports and expands the assessment done in the chapters, in particular in the regional ones, as well as the technical summary, the TS, and the summary for policymakers, the SPM. The Interactive Atlas is organized in three components. One, the regional information component allows users to explore a range of data sets derived from observations and global and regional model simulations, CMIP and Cordex respectively. They can select periods, mission scenarios, or global warming levels and regions of interest. Information is provided using different visuals for different variables, maps, time series, scatter plots, and tables. This component includes global climate change indicators assessed in chapters two to nine and indices of extremes and climatic impact drivers assessed in chapters 11, 12, and ATLAS. Two, the regional synthesis component builds on the working group one reference regions and provides synthesis information about past trends, attribution, and future changes for climatic impact drivers in several categories, such as heat and cold, wet and dry, and coastal and oceanic. Users can select one or several impact drivers and visualize the regional historical trends and projected changes over the subcontinental reference regions using maps for one or hexagons for multiple. In particular, the regional synthesis supports exploration of the data underpinning the regional information provided in the technical summary, in particular section, section TS4, and the summary for policymakers, in particular highlight 11 and figure 9. Three, the documentation. This includes user guidance for different components and other relevant resources such as information for reproducibility and reusability via the GitHub repository, an open source resource complementing and expanding the interactive atlas. Now we will take a guided tour illustrating the use of these components starting from the regional information interactive atlas. The navigation in this application is organized in four tabs on the top of the screen. We can select the data set of interest, the variable or index, the past or future period, and the season. Let's look at this in more detail. The data set tab allows selecting among several regional and global lines of evidence from future projections and historical simulations given by SNP6, SNP5, and different regional cortex domains, to recent past observations given by several global and regional data sets, and also to paleoclimate simulations. The variables um, are organized in three groups, atmosphere, ocean, and drivers such as aerosols, concentrations, and other yet to be completed. In the atmosphere groups, besides the key variables, such as temperatures, precipitation, snowfall, or wind, the interactive atlas includes several extreme indices, such as maximum one day precipitation, maximum consecutive dry days, or the maximum of daily maximum temperatures and climatic impact drivers, such as days with maximum temperature over 35 Celsius, both 
grow and bias adjusted. The oceanic group includes sea surface temperature, pH, sea level rise, and ice sea. Drivers include variables such as ozone and aerosol concentrations, and others yet to be completed. The value and period tab allows to define the magnitude of the interest among the different possibilities for each type of data set. For projections, the common values of interest are the changes for a particular period, near, mid, or long term, or global warming levels, 1.5, 2, 3, and 4 degrees. For a scenario, RCPs or SSPs, depending on the data set, all them relative to a particular baseline. However, the user can also check the raw values for a particular period and scenario. Note that the range of the color bar can be customized to allow suitable visualization for specific regions, for example, the polar ones. For observations, the options are raw values and the data set, as in the previous case, and also the trends over two recent past periods. Finally, the user can select the season of interest. The uncertainty selector allows different options for uncertainty representation. In this case, for observations, hatching non-significant trends. For model projections, the two alternative approaches used consistently in the Working Group 1 report are available. Simple, based on model agreement, and a new advanced approach introduced in this report. The resulting maps can be exported as bitmaps, PNG, or in GIS formats, GeoTIFF, including the numbers underlying the figure in this case. This format allows reusing the information in a GIS client with the possibility to further processing the data and overlaying other information. The Interactive Atlas implements the fair data principles for reproducibility, so full provenance and metadata information is generated for any data product that is exported by a user. Finally, regionally aggregated information can be consulted by clicking in one region of interest or several to enlarge the area. For instance, the European area can be selected by clicking in the four subregions. A number of options are displayed in the bottom panel, including time series, annual cycle, scatter plots, table summaries, and climate stripes. The result can be filtered considering land only or mountain only subregions. Apart from the working group one reference regions, the interactive atlas includes four alternative regional sets supporting working group one and two, continental regions, monsoons, small islands, and major river basins. The second component of the interactive atlas is the regional synthesis. And the navigation is very simple, including two options, maps for one index, and hexagons for multiple indexes. Maps allow selecting a single climatic impact driver from the list of heat and cold, wet and dry, wind, snow and ice, coastal and oceanic, and others. And visualize the assessment of past trends or future projections. 
the example displayed, mean precipitation in this guided tour, shows increasing precipitation trends in mid latitude regions and decreasing trends with attribution in some tropical regions. Switching to projections, we can see, for example, high confidence of precipitation increase in northern North America and Europe. Note that the projected changes are representative of the 2050s. The hexagon maps were created to equally represent multiple ge geographical regions of different sizes. They are used here to visualize the regional historical trends, attribution and projected changes over several climatic impact drivers in the same view. This representation allows users exploring and creating customized synthesis information, including the relevant climatic impact drivers for a region of interest. The development team invites you to participate in informal user testing of the tool. We have prepared a survey where we ask you to tell us how you are able to navigate the tool and how you might use this resource as part of your work. We will use this information to improve accessibility and documentation before the tool is made public alongside the Working Group 1 report this summer. You can find more information about the different elements of the interactive atlas in the documentation section. <laughs>